Hey guys, this is Trevin F here. Today, I'm going to be announcing that I'm going to be doing a Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. But before I get into that, I want to say real quick that I will be finishing my continuation of the DK Country X Mario ROM hack that I'll be doing. And then after that, I will be going to this Donkey Kong 64 randomizer. So what's going to happen in this randomizer? It's just like a Zelda Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask or Super Mario 64 randomizer. I am going to be trying to collect every item that I can before I try to get to the final boss and beat the game. This will be a series of videos instead of live stream on Twitch, so you guys will not see this on Twitch. It'll be just on my main channel. Basically, the whole point of this video is for me to go over what settings that I have and what settings I will be using for this randomizer. And while we get into that, let's go ahead and look at my settings. Alright, so the first thing that I have here is for the getting started. Getting started presets are settings that can be selected and loaded from applying a preset while overriding all settings that have been selected. So what I picked for the preset is I picked the sandbox mode. That's what I picked for mine and the random setting presets will be difficult. Basically it just kind of changes the presets of the whole overworld and the random settings. It's just kind of like how difficult the random items would be and how hard it would be to get them. And uh, basically in that kind of difficulty in that essence. But next we're going to go to randomizers. What I have is item randomizer, which means items are dropped randomly in different positions at different places. Drop sanity is sparkling enemies. Basically, if you see a sparkling enemy, they could drop major items, which is like, you could drop a golden banana, you could drop, you could probably drop a potion somewhere, you could probably drop a gun, it just really depends. Uh, these are all major items to help us get further into the overworld. Cross Kong purchases determines if and how moves are randomized. So basically, vanilla moves are in their vanilla locations. Shuffle moves can be randomized to different shops. Cross Kong purchases. Kongs can now purchase another Kong's moves. So basically, if I wanted to get a move and I didn't have Diddy anywhere, or if I didn't want to go back and grab Diddy to get the ability, I could just go and use whatever character I'm using, go buy that purchase, and then basically I have that move for Diddy. Which I think is pretty sweet. I'm kind of excited to try and see how that goes. Um... Dirt patches, dirt patches for rainbow coins are in the random locations. So basically, if you know the dirt patches in the beginning of the first level where you play as Donkey Kong, where you have to go talk to Cranky in that cave where you have to swing from the vines across that lake, that's one of them. Or when you go to World 2, where you get the uh, World 2 uh, Angry Aztec level done, where uh, there's a patch up there where you swing it from those vines. There's a lot of different types of patches, but they are randomized as well. Banana coins will be randomized as well. They are shuffled without throughout the level. So wherever you remember getting them in the overworld, they are now changed. This one is not changeable. I'm not really sure why. But wrinkly door locations are randomized as well. Vanilla door shuffle. Wrinkly doors and TNS portals are shuffled among the vanilla locations. Melon crates. Melon crates locations are randomized. Basically, if you don't remember what melon crates are, they're just crates that give you more, uh, that restore your health if you lose health. Basically what it is. So it's not too big of a major thing, but I still think it's cool. Color bananas, they are randomized as well. Banana fairies are also randomized as well. Truff and scuff portals, they are also randomized. And battle crowns are also randomized. Kasplats determine um, if how kasplats are randomized. Vanilla are in their vanilla. I didn't really mess with this one too much just because I don't know the full aspect of it. So I kind of left that one the same. The enemies are shuffled, the enemy speeds are shuffled, so the enemies can be slower, faster. Starting Kong and Kong locations have been randomized as well, so you won't, we, we might not start out with Donkey Kong. I'm not too sure yet. I just loaded up the ROM to see if it worked, and I got it to work, so I didn't play any of the game yet, but um, it'd be cool to see who we start out with. Shuffle K rule phases. The order of K rule boxing matches will randomly be randomized. So normally you start out with Donkey Kong, and then you follow with Diddy, and then you follow with Lanky. Basically that. So th that will be shuffled as well. The boss Kong required will be shuffled as well. So there could be a time where when we're having to play as Tiny. And uh, we have to do Mad Jack. It could be Lanky. It could be Diddy. We don't know. Uh, shuffle shop location. So basically anything that involves Cranky, Candy, uh, Funky. They are uh, randomized as well. Entrance randomizer. Level order. We're going with the level order because I don't like to go random i like to stay vanilla in that aspect uh banana fairy uh determine how many banana fairy aisles is handled chuck wave and camera are given um i didn't want to mess I, I, I didn't really care to mess with this one too much i kind of left it as was but um i have start with so to start with 
camera and shockwave, BFI, and we'll have nothing. Switch sanity. Randomizes is very pads of switches in the game to other pads or switches, resulting in different requirements to access barrier areas. Off switch sanity will be disabled. Helm access only. The aisle monkey port pad and the helm lobby gone pad will be altered. I can't read. But yeah, I, I left these ones alone just because I didn't really know too much about them. I know the shuffle banana ports. I know that's just the um, the little cap looking things that you can use to teleport in your banana portal. And then the random shot prices. I know what those are. Um, I didn't mess with any of them just because I just wanted to leave them the same. Also, random starting move count. I left that the same as well. Overworld, we have auto complete bonus barrels. We got rid of uh, barriers. We did faster checks, which basically speeds up several of the slower checks in the game. We have the smaller shops. Item random wish shops only reduce the number of items offered in shops to a maximum of three. We have open lobbies. We have progression switch strength. Helm hurry mode. I did not do this because this one is timed. Basically, you have to get bananas or you have to get golden bananas or you have to get blueprints to add on to the timer. And if your timer runs out, you can't save. So basically, I would have to continuously play. And I was like, I don't want to do that for a series. Maybe for a stream. For a live stream, I might consider that. Logic, we made glitch lists because I don't know any glitches. Uh, free trade agreement. Um, I don't know anything about this. I don't know really uh, too much about these, personally. Um, I know the win conditions BK rule. Uh, activate banana ports. Um, banana ports are off by default. I only only the banana ports and owls are on. Um, I should have left this one on, but I left it off. Um, and these are difficulty settings. Uh, I put in no. Uh, I put in complex level progression and tag barrels are disabled. Um, yeah, I thought that was a, I thought that was, that was smart for some reason. <laughs> um, I left everything else the same. Progression, uh, I left these all to be randomized. The K rule length, the faces of K rule, I kind of left those randomized. I didn't want to mess up them too much. Or the helm length as well. BK rule, you need your guaranteed starting keys. You got lock key and helm. A keys required. Um, the keys are shuffled, but if if it's like to the point where we get the keys and we can't find the eighth one, the eighth one would basically have to force its, itself to be in the, the vanilla location. Um, we can start out with any Kong. Uh, we can either have three, two, five, one, four. We could have whatever unlocks. It just depends. Um, door one and door two are also randomized as well. Metals for rare, rare coin, 15. Um, the, well, these are just defaults here, but uh, I did make this one randomized. But uh, fairies for rare, rare is 20. Metal color, but never requirements 54. I didn't mess with any of these. These are just default presets. Body of life. I left everything that was here on. I didn't mess with anything of this at all. Um, I turned off hints and spoilers because I do not want those. Cosmetics I made random as well. I also gave us Disco Chunky. Like, have you seen the beginning of the game where they have the DK rep? Where Chucky is uh, Disco, but then he wears his normal clothes. I did not mess with any of the colors. They are all randomized. And the music I left the same. Those are my settings for the DK64 Randomizer Let's Play. I'm excited to get into it. Probably around two more episodes of Donkey Kong Country X Mario coming out first. And then once I do get that out first then I will upload the DK64 randomizer. I do plan, however, to record one episode of DK64 randomizer, just so I can have one ready in the back burner, so that way when I get the other videos out, I can have that one ready to go. And you guys can see a little bit of what this Let's Play will entail. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are excited for this new Let's Play, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.